Okay, folks, welcome back to another one of these. Let me just move this a little further. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the radio show. I'm your humble host, Mike Camo, here, here for another one of these, and it's good to do another regular one. Uh, yesterday, I did a midnight radio show for about almost 40 minutes, but, you know, my first one. Um... I just wanted to tell everybody, hope everybody had a safe fourth. Um, everybody got home and everything, and everybody had a happy Fourth of July. Um, I certainly did. We had, uh, I had my, uh, I had my aunts and um, I had my aunts and uncles over, and uh, come my aunts, come my uncles over, and uh, um, two, two or three of my cousins. We kind of keep in the. Um, we're kind of keeping the uh, gathering small because of you know social distancing and such. Um, it's been it's kind of good to be. We were wearing masks, but uh, since we were eating a lot, we kind of didn't have to do that. But as soon as we were finished eating, we were just laying there, talking, playing card, playing cards and stuff. We put our masks back on. But other than that, we did fine, and um, no one caught anything. Um, I got to talk a lot. We talked a lot about stuff and got to catch up with a bunch of people and, you know, it was very fun. So, yeah, I hope everybody had a good fourth. Everybody did good. And um, so now we're in. Um, so now we're into the first full week of July and it's going to be hopefully a good one. Uh, tomorrow I'm off, but uh, it's Tuesday I resume activities at 10 o'clock uh, at my new job, which is very, very fun. Um, I just want to say, guys, that I'm almost dead. I was hired the 4th, so I've been there almost a month. Um, but, well, I've been with the company almost a month. Um, my first day of working was the 10th, so I'll be with the company a month, but I won't. Well, my first day of work was the 10th, so um, this week will be my first, will be my, this week is actually my, um, I'm going to say at the end of the week, I'm, I'll be with the company 30 days, which is really good. And 30 days um, went by rather quick. So um, so I think it's an interesting job. I think it's great. Uh, it's nice to work with produce again and keep everything super fresh. Um, everybody's lively and everybody's good. Uh, you know, you have, uh, I'm enjoying it. It's not, um, it's, it's a nice job to just keep me out of trouble and, help me focus and help me keep my mind going and that's the aim and it's very and it's not as stressful as target was um it's miles ahead of target and um you know it's it's been quite the learning curve but um i'm enjoying it and as you guys know i love a challenge so um so i'm definitely enjoying it on that front um i got to watch uh actually speaking of Winning streaks. I actually got to see Corvette win for the first time in like two years in IMSA competition, even though they won championships without winning. Um, so I got to watch the number three Corvette actually take the victory at Daytona at the, at the WeatherTech 240 last night and everything. So, you know, that's it, it, that's good. Start off the summer with watching Corvette win one. That's, that's good. And on July 4th, you know, watching the Americans win. Um, it's great. Um, it's it's uh, it's very good. So um, the uh, race was quite entertaining. It started at six. I, my uh, everybody um, left here at about five uh, yesterday, about five thirty, five forty. So we were only in amongst each other for about f for about five hours or so, and, and you know we just. Actually, yeah, we were, yeah, we were, uh, yeah, we were in amongst each other for about, um, uh, we, uh, my aunts and my uncle, a couple of my uncles were here from 12 to like 5.40, so, so I almost got to spend six hours with them, and then I got to watch the race, um, I watched the Brickyard 400 this afternoon, actually, and Kevin Harvick won that one, so I'm happy Chevrolet won one, um, also in the number four, actually, um, another, Another famous one. So, so yeah, um, so yeah, I had a bunch of hot dogs, stomach face, and uh, had some ice cream, and went in the pool. 
she went to pull today again because um, everything else. I'm shooting this right now because there's thunderstorms in here and we don't know. And I never, and you never know when you're going to lose power, folks, because the Northeast is just unpredictable, right? So, um, and everything. Um, so yeah, um, so I got job out of the way, I got July 4th out of the way, and I've also got racing out of the way. So, first five minutes, I just did three topics in five minutes. Man, I'm fast. Um, so, uh, you guys are probably wondering, what am I doing for games? Um, well, currently I'm playing four of them. I'm playing Battlefront 2, I'm playing New, uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, I just played it not long ago because there's new diving te uh, technique, and um, I'm also playing. Um, I'm also playing uh, Red Dead Redemption a little bit, and um, I can't quite play uh, online with stuff because uh, my PS Plus expired, unfortunately, and I have to get a gift card so I can reapply it very very soon so I can get back online again and um, and everything else so um, so yeah you guys are probably wondering what's the uh, what's the what's the cool um, setup I have in the back so for those of you guys who know I'm a racing fan and I'm a car fan so I'm going to take these off, and, um, so, this is actually my, um, this is actually my racing collection from, uh, from over the years. I've got, I got Porsches, Ferraris, a couple Camaro Corvette, two, two, um, Dale, Dale Earnhardt Jr., uh, Chevy SS's, Corvette C6. C6 and C5Rs. Um, yeah, as you guys know, I'm a racing enthusiast, so, um, so I'll lift the. These are not pinned. These are not pinned, by the way, because I, I want to access my cars, and I want to show each one of them if I can. Um, I will have. I have favorites. Uh, my first ever model car I ever got was actually these were a little later the first one I ever got was this Camaro right here that, that red that red one all on the side but my favorite one of all time is going to be this one So you guys probably will wonder, I'm the biggest Corvette fan in the world. It kind of stink if I didn't have a Corvette. Uh, if I didn't have a Corvette as a model, this is the C5R from 2005. This is actually Laguna Seca. This is a Laguna Seca winner, and this is serial number 1597 of 6000. This is a limited run, and I have the one of the first one of the first 1500 of this run and I'm and this is also a good one uh, this was driven by Olivier Beretta and uh, and Oliver Gavin not Ollie Gavin or Ollie Gavin as they call him um, nothing really opens on this one um, I wish it did because I'd be able to show you the monster that's under the hood here uh, seven liters Seven liters, 427 cubic inch, V8, 595 horsepower, depending on the year, and all well, 460 to all well, 540 to 495, depending on the year. 2006 was their lowest year. They had about 545, and then I think the last year they competed, they had 595, um, and. This one ran on gasoline. The later ones ran on ethanol, 10, E10, E85R ethanol, and uh, the wheels were darkened and blacked, and they were given bigger rims. And the tires are also quite big because this is a V8 car. Um, car weighs 
Well, the car was debuted at weight 1100 and however 100 kilograms in that. In, and if you guys want me to do the math, that's 2425 pounds. When it, when it finished competition, probably weighed 2600 pounds. Uh, fast car in a straight line, 186 miles an hour. 186, 190 miles an hour, very fast. V8 Bruiser, you can see the you can see the splitter down here. And you can see the uh, splitter out front. The exhaust with the rockers. Yeah, this was a this was a great one. This was actually a birthday gift. Actually, I got this for my um, I got this GT1 class Corvette. I think for my um, this was. Mm, this was probably 2006, 2007, so this is probably for my, um, you guys can hear a rumble in the background, it's lightning, so that's the reason why I want to get this done as fast as possible. This is a 2005 Laguna Seeker winner, so this was probably, I was probably 16, 17 years old when I, when I got this car, I was probably, yeah, I was probably, I was 16, 17 years old when I got this car. Um, that's probably telling me that there's a, uh, Probably tell me that there's a little, uh, thunder one, I guess it is. So yeah, this is, uh, so, yeah, so yeah, I got this when I was 16, 17 years old. I've cherished it for years, and it's a great car. Yeah, you too, it, the, the, the coloring is a little, a little dull when, but, uh, you, but the, my camera, my Samsung camera, seems to liven up the surfaces this is uh my lights out <coughs> my lights out up here it's usually on but body works about dull yellow but the lighting's making it look and it's really nice um sequential six-speed gearbox and non-colored non-covered headlights because the c5 was the first to do that the nice louvering here refueling place and then I think uh, and then uh, these little holes right here on the mirrors that was to put air into the place and I think the jack this was a rear view camera and I think one of these was and I think one of these holes on the side was to this little hole right here was to provide the air jack and uh, And these little lights, you guys are probably wondering, what are these little lights on the side? Well, that's actually to tell you uh, what place the car is. If it's running three, then you're in third place. If you're two or light, or two or lit, you're in second place. If you're lit, and if you're lit in first, if you're uh, if this is if one of the if the top one's lit, you're in first place. Uh, this one had the this one had the. Uh, this one had the top one lit when it finished at Laguna Seca. Um, great car, great drivers, and it was an awesome machine. So, so yeah, I'll show you guys. Um, and uh, Corvette racing has always been a very good. Uh, it's always been a very good metaphor for not giving up and um, persevering and doing your best when you, when things get tough because. It didn't matter whether whether they were down 10 laps or 40 laps. They would always fight and they'd always get to the finish no matter what. Unless a mechanical issue, um, unless a mechanical issue knocked them down. And that would happen quite a bit. So, um, with them in their later years. Um, I can remember, um, I remember the first race I ever watched them run was the 12 Hours of Sebring back in 2005. Um, with that, with that car, uh, not that car, not that exact car, but a car just like it. Um, the early days, they were actually edged out by Aston Martin the first time out in that car. And then the car went on a winning streak that would go on to Lime Rock 2006, which would be busted up, and then they'd be fighting Aston Martin for the championship. So, um, 
and that's where I get my fighting spirit actually um, I just don't learn from my friends and my family uh, I also learn from from my motorsport my favorite motorsports team in the world um, and you know the Red Sox are having a good season who I'm a big fan of you know sometimes I get an inspiration from them too so um, so yeah okay everybody I'm gonna bid this one to do uh, it's been about 15 minutes or so um, I hope you guys have a happy 4th of July weekend. Uh, the week starts tomorrow, and I hope we all have, uh, and I hope we keep going and hope the second half of the year is good for me and good for everybody else. So, um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later, and um, I'm, I'm actually going to be talking to Tom Gill tomorrow, so again tomorrow, so I'm seeing how he's doing, and we'll a nice long chat so i'll have to keep my phone charged hopefully early morning so i can have that conversation with him be nice to hear from him and uh also talk to meg soon as well see how she's doing um and april's doing good herself so um as i said that subject to change anytime um mutually between she and i so um and everything else so um so yeah i'll bid you guys adieu and i hope you guys have everything good and i hope everybody keeps going everybody keeps the chase and we all keep holding on um as best we can and go forward all right everybody bless this country bless this bless the rights we have uh pray for my pray for the spirits of all all those that are deceased, pray for my friends, let them stay strong, let them overcome obstacles, and let's keep, let's give, let's keep, let's not give up the chase, and let's keep holding on, and then we'll move forward when everything opens back up, and we become strong again, and this country will get stronger as well. Peace, and good night.